under my thumb There's a girl who once had me down Hi folks, this is Ziggy. Nice to see you again. Nice to have you with me today with the Stones classic Under My Thumb. I played a bit of my own introduction, but let's go into the original um, riff. This is played for, this is an arrangement for standard tuning. I start on the ninth fret with my first finger and I, in a way, touch the A and D string. You can bar it. Then I go with my pinky into the six, into the twelfth fret, and then I move to the D string and press my ring finger down onto the eleventh fret. And I like to like to, well, let the notes ring into each other. First, I play the single notes, and then I try to. When I go to that part of that riff, I try to let the two strings ring, yeah? Then I go with my middle finger to the seventh fret. First finger is in the sixth fret of the D string. That is seven, nine with the pinky on the D string. Once again. Same thing starting on the fifth fret with your middle finger. start with the minus 7 chord on the 9th fret then I play an E major chord by pressing down my first finger on the 7th fret of the A string and barring the D G B string with my ring finger Then using the pinky for the suspended chord, the pinky on the B string in the 10th fret. I do the same thing on G major, starting with my first finger on the 5th fret of the A string, ring finger in the 7th fret of D, G and B. Yeah, And listen again. On the my thumb. There's a word. Oh, I've got the wrong note. Let me find the correct note, yeah? One moment. Under my thumb, there's a woman who once had me down. Under my thumb. Next side of me. This is an A major. I bar the second fret of D, G, and B. Play my little rock and roll. Fill in here. Ring finger on the third of the the A, middle on the fourth of the A. Then I go with my first finger to the second of the G. D major. And now B in German H. Then we have an F sharp minor. F sharp minor. And then an E major. Normal E major. And then I start with my little intro again. If 
if you want to listen to the whole thing again here we have the seventh chord forgot to explain that first finger on the seventh fret of the D ring finger on the ninth fret of the G eighth fret on the B string with my middle I leave the first finger there and move middle and ring finger one step to the left then I have a chord that is the D minor chord it's like an A minor but you move into the sixth fret and this is a normal A major chord seventh on D sixth on G first on E on the fifth fret of the B string and I can always let the A string ring inspired i hope you feel a little bit entertained and i hope to see you again okay have a great time bye bye